The next step of our analysis is to create a first level model using the regressors in the denoising and setup tabs. After regressing out the confound regressors, a correlation value in each voxel is calculated by averaging across the signal in each seed and correlating it with all the other voxels in the brain. To run the first level model, click Done from the denoising tab. You have options for which type of resting state analyses you want to do. Leave all of the boxes checked for now and click the Start button. The toolbox will take a couple of minutes to denoise the data and generate each of the correlation maps you specified. When it is done, you will have access to the Analyses First Level tab. It automatically opens so that we can review the correlation maps. If you recall from the Setup tab, several different ROIs were generated, gray matter, white matter, and CSF, the latter two primarily for denoising using Anat CompCore, and atlases and networks. The atlases and networks ROIs parcelate the brain into different regions, or seeds. The time series of the gray matter is averaged across all of the voxels in each of the seeds, and correlation maps are generated for both the correlation of that seed to all the other seeds, and of each seed to all of the other voxels in the brain. Clicking on the Seed to Voxel, or ROI to ROI buttons, will display two distinct areas in the window, similar to the setup in the denoising tab. The left area, Seed-Based Connectivity Analyses, lists different analysis types and options that you can choose from. The right area, Preview First Level Analysis Results, shows how the average time series of the currently selected seed correlates with other voxels in the brain. Since we are only looking at resting state data, functional connectivity weighted GLM is the most appropriate option to use. Later on, we will see how to do a generalized psychophysiological interaction or GPPI analysis, which can be used with task-related datasets. All that we want to do for now is to validate that the first level correlation maps look okay. In the Seeds Sources panel, down here, highlight different seeds to observe how the connectivity map changes in the preview first analysis results area. What do you notice about it as you select different seeds? Do they match up with what you would predict? For example, frontal pole right should, obviously, correlate the most in the right frontal pole, and frontal pole left should correlate the most in the left frontal pole. Do this for a handful of seeds, making sure that the highest correlation is within the seed itself. You can also check other seeds and networks, such as the default mode network, to make sure that it generates the pattern you would expect. In this case, the default mode will be most correlated between the medial prefrontal cortex ROI and the posterior cingulate gyrus ROI. If you are satisfied with the preview of these correlation maps, click the Done button. This enables the Second Level Results tab. This will only take about a minute to run. Once it finishes, it enables the Results Second Level tab, which, unfortunately at this point, won't be able to give us any useful results with only one subject we will have to include more subjects in order to run a valid group analysis, which we will cover in the next video.